What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. Y'all know what it is. It's Friday. What do we do on Friday? Let let's let's. I'm gonna ask y'all again. What do we with the with, with the Hulk of Maniacs do? <laughs> it's it's finish strong. Friday. What do we do on Fridays? We always finish strong. We finish strong. That's what we we always have a strong finish. This is this is what separates uh the good from the great. That that this is what separates those that that have a um that achieve in life versus those that just um go through life. Is the ability to be able to finish strong. Ask the, the Golden State Warriors about finishing strong. When they just got out of a series that went seven games, right? The the Their ability to be able to finish strong was because they had been there before. Those, those that are looking to be successful, those that are looking to be, um, who, who, that have that, that inner strength, that, that runner, that that knows that coming around that 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 last leg of the four by one hundred relay is is that anchor leg and is the strong leg. It's about finishing strong. So that's what we're here to do this Friday. We're here to finish strong. I know it's been it's been a long week. I know you tired. I know you you might even be a little bit frustrated. The week might not have gone uh, as as uh, as you had planned, or the week might have gone great, might have gone better than what you had planned. But it's Friday, so you're here to be able to finish strong. And, and we've been talking about this all week. We've been talking about the I call it the C suite. We in the C. We've been in the C suite. All this week, y'all, and the C-suite uh, are the five C's of entrepreneurship and leadership. And and here's what we were, we've been talking about: communication, connection, clarity, um, uh, uh, commitment, uh, commitment. What did I say? What um, what did I forget? What did I forget? Um, oh, confidence. I'm sorry, I gotta forget confidence, y'all. <laughs> I gotta forget confidence. Um, and then today we're gonna deal with consistency. The word of the day is is consistency. I want you to put that if you can, uh, whether you're watching the replay or or whether you're watching um, watching live now. I want you to put co- consistency in uh, in the uh, in the in the, in the comment section for me. Consistency. This is the one. This is the one word that will separate you as an entrepreneur. That will separate you as a leader from everybody else that will separate you in whatever industry that you're in. One of the things that I've learned in my, this, these years that I've been uh, an entrepreneur, the one big word that, that defines um, us as entrepreneurs, that defines us as leaders, that defines and separates us from everybody else is consistency. You want to look at championships as in athletics Look at those that are champions and look at their consistency. Anyone who's been successful, anyone who's been done any, amassed any type of of success, uh, wealth, they've been consistent. McDonald's isn't the number one uh, fast food chain just because. it's, it's, It's who it is because it's consistent in what it produces. Entrepreneurs, leaders are consistent in what they produce. If you want to have a successful family, if you want to be successful in education, if you want to be successful uh, in government, if you want to be successful in business, if you want to be successful in the church, be consistent. Be consistent. There's three things that come with consistency. You want to say, well, I don't, how do I, how do I develop you know, being consistent, being consistent, having consistency. Here's the three things. I'm going to give you these three things and then I'm done. Focus, commitment, and discipline. When you think about consistency, think about what you're focused on. When you think about consistency, you think about what you're committed to. Are you committed to it? 
And then, like I said, the third thing, discipline. Are you disciplined in what it is that you're doing? On those days that you don't feel like it. On those days that are harder than the others. Are you disciplined? That's when discipline kicks in. It's easy to do it when you feel great. You 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 pumped and you're ready to do it. But to be consistent at it, you've got to be willing to do it when you don't want to do it. You got to be you've got to be disciplined to do it when you don't want to do it. That's how discipline kicks in. That's where the consistency comes. As an entrepreneur, there are gonna be days where you you just don't have it. You like, man, I can't I can't do this. But that's where the discipline comes in. That's where the commitment comes in. That's where the focus comes in. That's what's gonna separate you from from those that don't succeed. That's that's what's gonna separate you from those that that don't finish strong. And if you want to finish strong, those who want to finish strong have focus, have commitment, have discipline. Those that want to be consistent have these three characteristics. You will always say about them, they're focused, they're committed, they're disciplined in what they do. So when you go out today, everything that you have to do today, be focused on it, be committed to it, be disciplined in it. The, the, that's the formula for, 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 for being a successful entrepreneur. That's the formula for, for accomplishing in your personal life. That's the formula for, for accomplishing in, in your, your business, in your business life, professional life. Take a look at it. Those who come to work every day. Those who show up every day. They, they are focused. They're committed. They're disciplined. I don't care who you are. If you're focused, committed, and disciplined in what you do, you develop a consistency. People will look at you and know that they can count on you. Steph Curry isn't the greatest basketball, the greatest shooter in NBA history because he he came he came to work when he wanted to. He's the greatest uh, NBA shooter ever because he's focused, he's committed, and he's disciplined in what he's doing. Mr. Robert Smith, the 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 richest um Black man in America didn't get to where he is just by, you know, being, you know, being, uh, being, being, you know, just coming to work and having a, having his business. He became who he is because he was focused. He's committed and he's disciplined. He's, he was consistent in what he was doing. Take a look at Take a look at any person in your space, in your circle of impact, that you believe is successful. And ask, and ask them, how do you remain consistent? And I promise you, these three words will come up. They're focused, they're committed, they're disciplined. Because that, that's what has to be inside you. That that's that 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 can't I, I don't know if that's something that can be taught. I don't know if, if people can if somebody can teach you how to focus. There's certain things that may come with that, but I, I can't teach somebody how to be committed. <laughs> that's something that has to be innately in you. Now the discipline part, yeah, that somebody can I think somebody can show you how to be disciplined, but at the end of the day, that's something that has to come inside you. Be inside of you. Yeah, I took this C suite ain't easy, y'all. Being in this C suite is not easy. These five, the five C's of of you know these five C's of of entrepreneurship and leadership. This ain't for everybody. 
you, you've got to, this week I gave you hopefully disciplines again. Like I told you, I'm, I, I want my mission, my purpose is to make you better by the end of the year than you were at the beginning of the year. And I do that by giving you these principles all along the year that you can use both in, in, in your personal life and your professional life. And if you use these principles, if you adapt these principles and you write them down and you use them, you focus on them, you're committed to them, you're disciplined in them, I promise you, you'll be successful. Whether you are a bus driver or whether you are the owner of the transportation company, focus, commitment, discipline, being consistent in what we do. That's all any of us should be if you want to be consistent these 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 this this c suite everybody doesn't know how to communicate everybody doesn't know how to connect everybody doesn't know how to be clear or have clarity everybody doesn't have confidence and everybody doesn't know how to be consistent with people 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 start off the year what with these, with their New Year's resolutions, oh, I'm gonna lose, you know, 20 pounds, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds, I'm gonna lose 100 pounds, and what happens? Not even three weeks in, boom, fall right off. But those that remain consistent are the ones that will be successful by the end of the year. Those that remain focused will be better at the end of the year. Those that remain committed will be better at the end of the year. Those that remain disciplined will be better by the end of the year. Those that remain focused, committed, and disciplined will be better by the end of today than you were at the beginning of today. Finish strong. Do We've got to be we, we, our mindset and everything that we do begins with our mindset. How consistent do you want to be? I told you it's about one being 1% better every single day. Just 1%. Just 1% better than you were yesterday. Be consistent in that. I want to be consistent and being 1% better every single day. Doing something a little bit better today than I did yesterday. Just focus. Are you, are you consistent for today? Did you, did you follow up with that email that you, that you said you were going to follow up on? Did you send out that package that needed to be sent out to your client? Did you, did you meet uh, with, that, um, with that potential client like you said you were? Did you show up? On time. Being consistent about showing up. On time. Is, 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 is something. That can make a difference. And, and I was watching a, a video. Um, the other day. And, and the gentleman that was speaking. Was talking about. You know not just showing up. But showing up on time. Because we sometimes take people's time for granted. We don't, we don't consider people's time when it comes to us doing things. You have to be considerate, cognizant of people and respectful of their time. Just like you want someone to be respectful of your time. So showing up on time. Be consistent in that. So that people know, hey, I know, I, I know that, that uh, Tanya is going to be, you know, is going to be on time. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning, Miss Joy. How are you? Thanks for tuning in. But those are the things that give you the ability to be able to, sh- to finish strong. Consistency, y'all. Consistency takes focus. Consistency, consistency takes commitment. Consistency, consistency takes discipline. My my friend, my business business associate, business friend, um, Coach Marcy, Phoenix Tribe Fitness. She talks about 
this with her with her clients I know uh, in in regards to them eating healthy them exercising them having a a, a healthy plan she can help y'all with that too so check her out you definitely want to check her out she has some phenomenal phenomenal plan but one of her big things too is consistency if you're going to lose the weight that you want to lose you've got to be consistent in in the health work that you have to do and i truly believe in order for you to do that you got to be focused committed and disciplined in it. i truly believe she would she'll tell you that in the conversation that you'll have with her with your consultation she's going to tell you you've got to be consistent with it you can't be on again off again with it remain consistent in in business my my mentor dr will morland one of the main things he talks about is consistency doing what you do doing it and doing it over and over and over again have the template have the formula and repeat it why do i keep going back why do you think mcdonald's is as successful as it is. Why do you think that Marriott is su- as successful as it is as a hotel? As a hotel, why do you think Chick Fil A is as successful as it is as a restaurant? Their consistency is in customer service. Their consistency is in giving you a product the same way every time. The service same way every time mcdonald's they the the mcdonald's brothers created a system of consistency you go into mcdonald's you gonna get a hamburger with a sprinkle of uh, a, a sprinkle of onions a splash of ketchup and a splash of mustard consistency they teach that in 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 their training you as an entrepreneur should be doing the same thing with your employees you as a leader should be instilling that in in those that you're leading consistency focus committed discipline those that won the uh, nba um you know nba championships nfl championships look at those teams I dare you to look at those teams and tell me that they didn't have consistency. They were focused, they were committed, they were disciplined in it. You've got to do the same thing. That's how you finish strong on this Finish Strong Friday. What are you focused on today? What are you committed to today? What are you going to be disciplined in today? Take that into your work day today. And I, I promise you, you'll you'll go in if you if you begin to do that on a consistent basis, it will become a part of of your you know of of your lifestyle. That's one of the things that I told that I told um, you know Coach Marcy. I said to her, I said thank you. I said because you got me back into my consistency with walking and doing the things that I wanted to do. I gotta be I gotta be more consistent with my water drinking, y'all. I will be transparent about that. <laughs> gotta be more consistent with that. So I gotta practice what I preach. I gotta be more focused, committed, and disciplined to drinking more water. All of us can. I think all of us can. So that's that's my thing, right? Y'all just me. All right, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Yes, yes, I do. I do. That part, that part right there, I do. <laughs> I'll say that. But I thanked her because now I'm, I'm consistent. With my walking, I'm consistent. Well, I've always done the ex- my exercises, but the walking uh, has now been incorporated in every in what I do. It's a part of what I do every single, you know, not every day, but I, I walk five days a week. Um, but I'm consistent in it, and and I've become consistent in it where it, be- it has become a part of my lifestyle. And you'll find, as an entrepreneur, as a leader, when you're consistent with something, it becomes a part of how you're able to do what it is that you do. And how to be successful at what you do. Once you have your formula. Once you have the formula. Then you can actually. 
be consistent with it. You can be focused on it. You can be committed to it. You can be disciplined in it. I saw um, my uh, uh, mentor, Dr. Dr. Will, he was doing, he had this thing called the self-confidence formula. Um, do I have it right here? Yeah. Called the self-confidence formula. Self-confidence formula. And this is by, um, uh, uh, what's his name? The, he wrote Think and Grow Rich, um, Napoleon Hill. But this is, he wrote this way, way, way back then, y'all. But it's a, it's a five, five, tier promise about self-confidence and i've been writing this it'll uh, and i'm doing it for 30 days uh, i believe doc is doing it for 45 days um but being uh, i've become consistent with doing that writing it down and and applying the disciplines of the self-confidence formula but you've got to be committed to it i'm com- i'm committed to that I'm committed to to what it says and the things that I have to do in order to be able to be successful in in life and business. So today, the word for today is consistency. I know we we've talked about all week. We've talked about communication. We've talked about connection. We've talked about clarity. We've talked about confidence. But now we got to talk about consistency. Be consistent in in whatever it is that you're gonna do. Be committed to being consistent. I know it's it's not always easy. We got life going on. This happens, that happens. Things are going to come. But at the end of the day, can you say that you do it on a consistent basis? That even if, even like, even if y'all don't see me here at nine o'clock, right? Y'all know at some point y'all going to see me <laughs> Monday through Friday sometime during the day going live talking about what we're focused on this week. Because I've I've been I'm committed to being consistent with this. Because if I'm if I'm if I'm saying that I'm going to be committed to making you better by the end of the year than you were at the beginning of the year, what I got to do, I got to show up in order for that to happen, right? I've got to be consistent in in doing that. I've got to be focused in doing that. I've got to be committed in doing that. I've got to be disciplined in doing that. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to think about that today as you go through your day. What what do I want to be consistent at? What do I need to be consistent at? And then am I going to be, how do I be focused on it, committed to it, and disciplined in doing it? That's what we do as entrepreneurs. That's what we do as leaders. You've got to have that instilled in you. I can't give it to you. I can't serve it to you <laughs> through, the, through, through this live. You've got to be the one that says, I want it. I want to be consistent with it. If I'm going to be the successful entrepreneur that I, want to, that, I'm, that I want to be, and I want to get to that next level, what's it going to take to get to the next level? It's going to take consistency. I know it, it, it may get frustrating. You might not see the results that you want. You know, and when you want them, you might believe that that things should be happening a lot faster. I know I felt like that as well too. But here's the thing: you still you show up. Be consistent with it. Be consistent with it. You can't be focused, committed, and disciplined to something. Be consistent with it and not get results. You're gonna get the results. I promise you. Most people aren't successful at what it is that they're trying to accomplish because they don't, they're not consistent with it. It's like, oh, they give up and move on to the next thing. But if you believe in something, you'll be consistent with it. Welcome to the C-suite, (laughs) y'all. Welcome to the C-suite. Communication, connection, clarity, confidence, and and consistency. That's the C-suite. That's who we are in the C-suite. You can't get access to the C-suite if you don't communicate, if you don't connect, if you don't have clarity, if you don't have confidence, and you aren't consistent. There's no access. You will get access denied to the C-suite if you if you if you don't have these. 
if you can't say I'm someone who 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 has communicate, I'm working on communication. Or I'm make sure that I I'm an effective communicator. I connect with people. I'm clear about who I am. I'm clear about what it is that I'm I'm bringing to people. I'm I'm confident in what I'm doing, where I'm going, who I am, what I'm doing, where I'm going, and, and I'm I'm consistent in what I do. We can't have you here. The C suite is only for those that are that are doing that those things. So check it. Check yourself on this Finish Strong Friday. (laughs) Do you want to finish strong? Do you want to be great? Be consistent. Be focused. Be committed. Be disciplined in what you do. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. It's Friday, y'all. I want y'all to have a great weekend. As I always say, do something fun. Do something fun. It's a beautiful, it's supposed to be a beautiful day out today. I think it's supposed to be nice this weekend as well. So go get some fresh air. Get out. Um, enjoy the enjoy the good weather. Enjoy this the spring weather, this great spring weather. And we'll talk to y'all on Monday. We'll see y'all soon.